Welcome back. Earlier we asked for your calls about Paul O'Grady and Vanessa's back to take them now. Hello, yeah. Vanessa. Hello. There have been so many. I, I bet mean, the have. lines have been aflame with, with people just wanting to say how wonderful he was. I really. bet. And actually, we're, we're just checking in with one of Paul's closest uh, friends now, Sally Lindsay, um, who's got in touch and she's here. Hi, Sally. Um, I mean, we're all feeling it. I can't imagine how you are because you were friends for a long time. A long, long time, yeah. It's uh, it's quite a shock this morning. Um, I'm with you because um, I know that if he'd said, uh, he would have said, if they got anyone else or anyone he didn't know, he would have said, what have you got a hair on for? I can't stand it. <laughs> you know, um, and that's, that's why I'm here, because I'm not, I'd rather not be, let's put it that way. Yeah. It's I... a big shock and, you know, everyone's devastated. And so you, you met you met Paul back in your Corrie days, and uh, yeah, we were friends, friends for we, we we he started his uh, daytime show, and uh, which was wonderful. So I must have had about forty busters by the end of it, because I was always <laughs> on. And we got we just got on really well, and we'd had projects together over. Oh, that's Joe Joyner. That's not me. Oh yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Everyone always gets us mixed up. That's hysterical. <laughs> um, he would have loved that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So that's where you see um, that's that yeah. was kind of the beginning of, of then a, a friendship, but not just a working relationship, but a real friendship as well. I mean, you both you both yeah. bonded over your dogs. Didn't he have a pet name for your dog as well? Yeah, he called the Mop <laughs> because I've got a, I've got a poodle, you see. But uh, but yeah, we, we we were working on a project very re we're, we've got a new project together very recently. So the last time I spoke to him was last Thursday, oh. and um, uh, and he had to <laughs> he had to go because one of his pigs was ill. And um, oh. the vet was knocking on the door. <laughs> so that was the last time I spoke to him, which I never thought it was the last time. You never do, do you? No, um, you never do. Yeah, he was... Uh, what I want to say about Paul is, uh, and the reason I'm on is, he was um, a whirlwind. He was funny, intelligent. There's no, There was no one like him. But what he was as well, he was a social warrior. Mm. And he couldn't bear what was going on at the moment, um, you know, with the working classes and the cost of living. And he used to be incandescent about it and he never lost his roots like that. He was always a very, very real man. And, but also hysterically funny. You went out to dinner with him and it was exhausting because you were laughing that much. He was just, he was, there was no one like him. And I, I will, the, the world is a dark place today. Um, Sally, thank you for joining us. It was a very fitting tribute to your friend, Paul. Thank you so much and sending lots of love to you and all of him, his family and friends as well. So, yeah, I mean, this is, this is one of those things where people really are on the verge of mm -hmm. tears, mm -hmm. but also saying so much how funny he was. Yeah. Because yeah. you, when you remember him, you want to laugh, but yeah. when you think you're never going to see him again or hear him again, yeah. you, want to, you really want to cry because this, is, this isn't pretend. This is all very, very real. You can yeah. see Sally could barely speak. I know, absolutely. And Carol Vorderman could barely speak. And, and it, it's 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 a terrible shock, mm. you know. And he and he was such a gigantic personality in every way, as they say, political, clever, funny, mm. really kind, you know, really amazing person. Yeah. And that, that 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 the loss is is it's huge. Well, it's proper. Yeah. It's really big. Let's um let's speak to Maggie now because um she's on the line. Um, thank you for joining us this morning. Um, what are your memories of Paul? When did you meet him? Oh, good morning. I met. Um, Paul back in the 1980s when he used to perform twice a week at the Royal Vauxhall Tavern in London and he used to compare um, a show that was on twice a week called Stars of the Future. Um, he used to sit on the side of the stage, introduce the acts and um, he didn't earn very much money, very little in fact for the evening. But we used to have great fun. He sort of used to lift our spirits. We were a gang of nurses and we used to go there after work and um, we didn't have to drink um, because he sort of just, he just made you feel light. He made you feel happy. He made you feel elated. And it was hard times at that time back in the 80s. There was a lot going on in the world. Mm -hmm. And as he's already been described, you know, he was passionate um, about fairness and about um, equal opportunities and, um, and relentless. Um, but he just... He made you feel good. I suppose I was a little in love with him, really. I certainly Aww. loved him, and you couldn't help that. You felt that goodness sort of ooze from him. Um, and he was so good. I've, hit, I've had so many texts from people this morning who are saying, do you remember the nicknames he gave us? And um, he used to call me the librarian. And 
<laughs> Did you, was it nice for you, sort of knowing him from back then, right, that that oh, sort of stage in his yeah. career, and then to watch up, him I, on... I met him a few times on London Bridge Station and um, with Buster and, and I oh. had dog and so we we had that shared in common. We used to phone each other and everything back in the days you know and I he always used to say oh come and I'll leave a ticket for you and I remember him I think he did the pretty Polly advert you know I'm sure it was his legs he certainly he had, the legs had fabulous it. legs yeah. Yeah. amazing yeah. legs yeah um, legs. Maggie thank you for sharing your story it's good to talk yeah. to you thank nice you, to Maggie. hear that side of him Lovely. Lovely. love to his family thank you Bye. thank you wow um let's speak to Fred now uh, have we got Fred on the line yeah, hi, Joe. Hi, hey, Fred. Fred. Um, so he was a guest on your show, is that right? Yeah, it's a, well, it was a forerunner of all paranormal shows called Most Haunted. And uh, I'm the demonologist on it. And a demonologist does all these sort of dark things on it. You know, Holly would love it. <laughs> no, <laughs> not my favourite thing. Um, so anyway, Paul appeared on the show quite a few, well, about three or four times, I think. But this one time we did a live show uh, on Halloween. And um, I did my usual thing, calling up the dark stuff in Latin. And I know Paul loves the paranormal. He loves the paranormal. But he was a bit scared of the paranormal, a bit like Holly. You know, he didn't want to sort of face anything. No. So he went running off and opened the door and hid in the, the coal cellar, which he called, <laughs> I'm going in the coal hole. <laughs> so I went over to the door and started banging on the door and shouting in Latin. And it absolutely scared the, the life out of him. <laughs> <And> he <did. laughs> so when he came out, we all had a good laugh about it. And he started talking about dogs like he does. And like, I've got Irish wolfhounds. Oh, and uh, it's, it's someone you could meet and you thought you'd known him for years. You know, he's mm. such a lovely man. True. Yeah, very personal. Love you really missed. Yeah, he had that way, didn't he? And you Absolutely said it earlier on, right. just made you feel like the one person Everybody in the room. felt like mm -hmm. that about him. So there's not anyone who, you know, anyone that he passed by mm -hmm. would remember that moment forever. Mm. This is not an exaggeration. Really, it's true. Because he would say something so personal, he called people, as you keep hearing, special names. And when mm. someone gives you a special name, it makes you feel yeah, special. Yeah. It does, you know. And, 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 and he'd, he'd focus on you, he'd say something incredibly funny, very personal, and you would remember it for the rest of your life. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's the kind of man he was, a real special person. Well, Jade would agree with you. Yeah. Because she says, I met Paul when I was on his show. They had a segment on fostering and I was on because I was an experienced foster carer. Well, you sound like a lovely person mm. too, Jade. Uh, he spent lots of time with us in the Green Mount after us and had us in stitches with his stories. He was a genuinely lovely man. Mm. I've adored him ever since and he's such a loss to this world. And, and the thing that's amazing was that part of his persona, as everybody will remember, was to be moaning, mm. a bit cross, a bit short-tempered. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But the contrast between that and and his real personality, yeah. which really wasn't that. Yes, no. he was very real. Yes, he was very political. Yes, he was very clever. But he was really nice and funny. And that, that made it such an amazingly kind of rounded, interesting personality. Yeah. yeah wonderful time person, for you. yeah. What, like, a wonderful legacy, though. Incredible. To, like, to have that incredible body of work mm. and the fact that everyone is calling in, guess everyone's saying what a lovely human being Absolutely he is. Right. I know, you um, wish you could hear it. Yeah, and also, we should say, very blue. You know, yeah. it wasn't like he was a saintly person. No, no, but, you no. Know, he, was, he walked on the wild filthy. side. Yeah. Filthy, yeah. actually. Filthy. And always told yeah. everyone to be as filthy as they could. Yeah. Yeah. That was his advice. You know, when I was on the big breakfast bed, what should you be? Filthy. Yeah. Yeah. Denise <laughs> ran out and said, well, you know, she said, oh, what should I do? You know, new presenter on the big breakfast. Said, Just be filthy. Yeah. Just be as filthy as you can. And yeah. Let's all be more filthy. God, was he filthy. filthy. Absolutely. Um, we've got Susan here says, my husband was working with Paul in the theatre. Paul found out that my husband's daughter wanted to be a vet when she grew up. Paul gave her a call and they had a conversation that lasted over 45 oh, minutes about dogs. This was in the middle of doing a show, but he took the time out to speak to her. He was an amazing man who will be sorely missed. And this is the thing, that, that it's not just for the cameras. This that's, is just that's what the he's thing. doing. Mm -hmm. And there are lots of people who present shows and they, they don't, you know, they might look in the green room and say, hi, everybody, we're all right. But yeah. that's not him. Mm -hmm. no. so, he, so you can't fake that stuff, you know, mm. to be really genuinely interested. And I suppose because he'd been a social worker, you could see that's where his heart really lay with, yeah. with people. This is um, an important one. Just last week, Paul says, I went to see uh, Paul O'Grady and Annie, the musical at Edinburgh Playhouse. And it's extraordinary. He was on stage yeah. up until that point. I'm so gutted this morning to hear of his death. He put on a fantastic performance last week and he looked so well. Mm. As a gay man, Paul inspired me to come out as gay. I used to always think nobody judged him, so nobody would judge me and 
You know, that's, that's another really important thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. he blazed a path in yeah. so many, many different directions. And I, I was on the limo bike this morning. My driver, Alan, had dropped Paul only a few days ago. Oh. And he said, Paul said, oh, it's so great doing Annie because the, the routines I learned 30 years ago mm. have just come clicking straight back yeah. in. So he was obviously in a great yeah. mood in a great way. Well, so that's good, isn't it? That. So am yeah, I. Good to know that. Yeah. Uh, Vanessa, thank you. thank you. And thanks for sharing your memories as well as Paul. It's lovely to hear those this morning.